Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I've got here is a GPU riser. And if you looked at my video about how to build a mining rig, then you probably saw this and you've got an idea of what this actually does. Um, okay, I'll just get this open. So what this does is allows you to connect a graphics card to your motherboard and you can put it into an X1 slot, an X4, an X8, an X16, it doesn't really matter. It's very, very simple. This one is powered using a six pin connector here, which click in here. This goes to a SATA connection. Um, the USB cable goes in. It's always the wrong way around. There we go. And this goes to your motherboard. And the graphics card goes in here, pops in, and you pop that back out. So it kind of clicks like that. So, very straightforward, and I explained how this works in my mining video. But I want to talk about the versions, the different versions around. You'll see here that this has got version 007. This is the version that I've used in all my mining rigs so far. I've got it in four different mining rigs, and it's worked quite well. Now, about these risers in general, you will see a lot of people giving them bad reviews. Uh, and if there's anything wrong in a mining rig, people always say, check your risers first because these things are prone to, well, just prone to break. So if I jump to my monitor. So, um, right, so th this is AliExpress. And if you type in GPU riser, you will see lots and lots of different versions. Now there's different variations of this here. And if you look, you know, a lot of them look very similar to mine. This one, if you pay attention to this one, you can see that it doesn't have a connection cable. Um, like mine does, doesn't have a, a six pin to SATA connection, but it does have different connections on the board. Now, what I found is looking at the different versions is that they all seem to be mixed up. They're all kind of all over the place. You can see this one is calling itself 006, but it looks identical to mine. The 007, the 008, I believe the 008S, which is a version I think I bought now, and there's also 9. Now the reason I'm pointing this out is because when you go to Amazon, you will see lots of different var variations of it, different versions being sold, and a kind of selling point of a lot of them say is this is the latest version, it's 009, don't buy the other ones, but you will actually see that 009 the last, I think the 009 one I saw looked the same as 006. So I don't know if it's almost like a marketing scam, but there are variations um, in, in these parts in the risers. But my, my advice to you is, I mean, look at the version here, but really you should be looking at the board and looking at what the board does. So if I lift my camera a little bit, um, what I've got here are PCI risers 008S. And these ones are different. These ones don't need a six pin to SATA connector. Now, as I pointed out, this is, you know, this is nothing to do with the versions, but uh, I pointed this out in my mining video. Don't, um, the, the advice is not to use more than two um, SATA, one SATA cable for two GPUs. Um, because if you put any more, these cables can melt. Okay, right. Stay on topic with the risers, with the variations. Get my finger in there. There we go. Okay, so we've got 007 USB cable and it's, this is powered by a six pin connector. The USB cable is data. This is power. So let's look at 008S. Now, first thing you'll notice, well, there's no power connector and the reason is this one can be powered in many different ways. You've still got your USB connection there. It goes to the riser, that looks the same, but you can power it using a SATA connection, using a four pin Molex, or if you want, you can use a six pin connection as well. Now, this is beneficial for many reasons, but the obvious one being that, well, you're removing one cable away from your computer, but from a power supply point of view as well, um, it's just a lot more versatile because you might, for example, have, like in my uh, Evka power supplies, I think I had two SATA cables 
with four connections on them and that was it but i had another three different cables with molex connections on them so um if i wanted to i could power by molex i could power by six pin or i could power by sata and i don't need to use a connection like that i can just power this directly from here to the power supply so that cuts out a cable which in my opinion is a good thing because it eliminates um one other area that could go wrong so what i would say about this you know um i've still to test this one but looking at the reviews and every review of, of risers you'll see on amazon and in aliexpress and elsewhere as well you'll see people saying oh this didn't work or two risers out of six didn't work it seems to be a com common problem that these things you know out of six sometimes one that doesn't work sometimes two don't work i've heard about people you know these parts mel melting as well the cables melting if they've put too many uh, too much power through it but across the different versions i can't see a major difference between them from a data transfer point of view from well from everything really the only major difference between the versions is how it's powered it might change in the future but right now if you're looking at buying risers i would look at the board i would look how it's powered and i would maybe disregard the version number um 8008s does seem to be the version that has the six pin four pin and sata connection but i have seen versions six seven and nine and they all look the same as this you know apart from the colors being different so there you have it guys gpu risers they are released under many different versions but again look at the board itself that's the key thing you want to be looking at before you buy anything look at the board and check out pre you know other reviews as well I, I believe there's imitations out there there's good versions and there's bad versions but look on amazon and see what other people are saying um but as far as a quality point of view i mean these things look identical you know like capacitors there there i mean it'll, it's a little bit different there if you look at the board it's a little bit different but by and large the only the main difference here um apart from this bit being t this bit's a little bit tiny bit different you can see this is kind of goes over double but the principle is the same yeah the main difference here is just the, the power connector so i'm not saying this is better than that from a, a data or reliability point of view i'm just saying from a power point of view this gives you more options and you know if you got only a, a certain number of cables with your power supply um I, th I think that's uh, a little bit more flexible thanks for watching guys i hope i've helped you in some way if you've got any questions about this please do leave a comment below and i'll do my best to answer them i'll speak to you all soon take care